This is Code.org. I'm currently working on their CS Principles course. I'm doing the Data Tools Unit, Lesson 13, Importing and Exporting Data, Part 2. Let's see here. Importing Data. You already know how to individually add new records to tables in your database by using the Create Record command or by individually adding rows in the App Lab Viewer. Yes, but adding new rows one by one can quickly become tedious if you want to create several new records. Luckily, the data viewer allows you to import data that you already collected in a CSV file. CSV is comma separated value. Um, it's kind of like an Excel file. Well, it is, except it's not branded by Microsoft, right? It's kind of the universal Excel. Uh, Google Docs can use it. It basically everything. Oh, maybe it says all that comma separated value. Yep, Google Sheets, there we go. Yeah, all right. Uh, for each row in your CSV, App Lab will create a new record. So each row in your spreadsheet, think new record and populate it with information from that row. So it's just going to copy the spreadsheet's rows and make rows um, in whatever table we have. Make sure the first row in your CSV lists the names of each column in your table. Oh, yeah, the column names, got it. Import your file. App Lab will use the, this row to automatically name the, col the columns in your table. Right, so if that first row isn't set up correctly, the names of your table will probably be just the first row of info. We're, we've provided a CS file, you with a CSV file, of some sample data here. Okay. And I guess it wants us to download this. File download as CSV. Ba-da. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and close that. Download the file to your computer. Yep, we did that by clicking File, Download as, comma, separated value. Open the data viewer. and view the data for the table named My Table. Click the Import button, then click Choose File button that appears. Okay. Note, when you press the button, any data currently exists will be deleted. Make sure you really want to overwrite the data. Okay. So, we want to... My Table, yes. Well, and there's nothing in here. Fine. Import. And... This is what we downloaded. Overwrite. Let me get rid of this. Oh, cool. All right. Yep, our table is automatically populated. The animation below shows you how to import the page. Oh, they're using a Mac. Cool. Well, that's handy. Um, and it has a lot of versatility because basically everything has an option to use a CSV for data. Cool. Let's, uh, I guess I have to hit run. Great. Let's keep going. 